do the little haves and wants and whatever. Yeah, what's your question, Jay? Um, what do you guys know about the developments potentially happening in the Wells Goodfellow district, kind of outlined by Skinker, Delmar, Page, and like uh, Union? Do you guys know anything about that? I don't. Nope, okay. Actually, don't. Uh, anybody else uh, know anything? Is there a particular part or a particular section of the town you're looking at, Jay? I know that they've got something going on off of Hamilton. Uh, near Delmore. Is there some other ones you're speaking of? Yeah, well, we have a house under contract actually on Julian Avenue. It's a nice house. We're asking 25000 for it. Anybody interested? It's a rehab rehab of 70 k with an a ARV of at least 200 k So... Um, you know, I'd definitely be interested in that. Okay. Um, let me mention you. I'm... Um, my number, write this number down if you don't mind, 612-709-8003, and I'll put it in the chat as well. Okay. Um, but we're looking at homes in that area. Uh, speaking of Section 8, uh, even, even getting it up to rental snuff, and then Section 8 and several of those houses. So, um, but I just, I didn't know if anyone knew about money earmarked toward in that in that zip code your yeah, name is reggie on what piece of that what piece of it that you're looking at um i've been seeing a lot of activity going on around that page and goodfellow area myself not really sure what's pushing it quite yet just keeping an eye on things but i've seen i've been seeing a lot of um dilapidated buildings get leveled out get flattened out and stuff like that so it's some yeah. kind of activity or push from some way, mostly squeezing in from the page towards pushing towards Delmore, as opposed to towards a uh, natural bridgeway. Okay, yeah, and I'm thinking Skinker too, like that from through that area, kind of the, the parts that border that. Reggie, what's your phone number? Area code three one four. Hold on one second. Three one four. Okay, three zero eight. 308 2747 2747 yeah that is it i'm putting it in the chat box uh thread as well okay yeah. i'm calling you at the moment okay perfect okay that's me gotcha awesome okay, thank you i'll be in touch with you all right okay glad we made a connection there yeah thank you guys Okay, that's what I'm we're in here Florida, for. by the way. You're in Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the few war warm places in the country. <laughs> it's, it, it is, it's an overcast day, but it is warm. 75, it feels great. Shorts. Yeah. My <laughs> wife and I were just looking at the forecast down in Key West, Baron, because there was a few years ago, we were down there this time of year. We were wishing we had been down there this year. Oh, yeah. Come on down. Come on down. My son just got back from Key West. They had a ball. Yes. Very warm. Beautiful. Extremely warm. Very nice. Yep. Nice weather for sure. But you got to get your reservations in probably. <laughs> I don't know. It's, you know, with COVID, there's still, there's still that, that, availability. Sure. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, so we, we got an RV and I remember about, it was about five or six years ago. We had a, I had, we decided we were going to do it like two months in advance. I had trouble finding uh, a, a spot for our RV for a week down there. In the keys that's true yeah rv would you right it'll be tough all over florida all, yeah. really everywhere nowadays but yeah probably everybody's they're pushing rvs everybody's nobody wants to check into a hotel so they're going out and buying rvs speaking of oh, which i am looking for uh 50 acres uh 20 to 50 acres to put an rv park so if anybody knows of anything like that that'll be great too okay hey i got uh some land um deals I'm, I'm wholesaling them, but I have some. So I'll okay. put my phone number in the chat. My name's Please. Laura, and we can connect after this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I might, I might be interested too. You got anything in St. Charles County, Laura, or what, what counties are they in? No, the land I have is in North County, 63034, Hazelwood Schools. But I, St. Charles County is a little bit of a unicorn for me, Lloyd. I don't okay. We don't, I don't get a lot out there. Um, and it's so competitive. I don't do a ton of marketing out there, but um, 
If I ever get the chance, I go for it. I just don't, I don't have anything. Okay, just shout a check. Yeah, no, thanks for asking. I appreciate I'm still it. I'm looking for a lot. Oh, yeah, you're but... looking for uh, a lot? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, great. I'm St. Charles, and hopefully something I could build an RV shed on and put my own. Oh, nice. nice. Maybe have a small storage facility for our RVs. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. That's different than a house, so I like yes. it. All right, yeah. thanks. Put your uh, number in the, in the chat. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm putting it in right now. I'll, it'll, I'll push in there in a second. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, Lars doing that. Uh, anybody got anything else uh, real estate related they want to share? We've got a, um, any other property uh, for sale like Jade had or uh, looking to buy something in a particular area? We put the word out. Uh, you got uh, it. Oh, go ahead, Tim. Yeah, um, I, I'm new to the, to the group and um, my, my wife and I, we moved here from out of state a few years ago and I'm in the process of moving my investments into, uh, decided to focus on South St. Louis. And so I've got a um, couple of uh, apartment buildings right now, and, uh, but I've been hesitant to buy more because I, uh, I'm still working on building up the support for it. And by far and away, my biggest problem is maintenance. Um, and uh, I uh, just finding folks that are uh, reliable and uh, it, it's been a real challenge. So <laughs> uh, if, if anybody has uh, somebody or, or some contacts or any way that I can make more contacts, I've put, uh, you know, my, my connections right now, of course, are limited because I, uh, you know, I'm new to the area, but uh, but if you have anybody or know somebody that's uh, that, that's uh, has the capacity to take on more work, uh, I'm looking for, and I'm looking for everything: um, handyman, electrician, plumber, uh, you know, you name it. Uh, I'm getting by, but uh, yeah, I, I'm planning on buying some more this year, but I'm just hesitant, um, you know, because right now it's a problem. If I take on more units, it's going to become a bigger problem. <laughs> So I'd like to get this uh, at least situated a little better than what it is right now. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, a number of years ago, I had properties in the South City, and uh, that was one of my biggest challenges. I don't know, uh, uh, Dwayne has uh, been willing to share some of his uh, uh, service people. Um, I know you still have have a little uh, hip, some hip pocket referrals, uh, Dwayne, if uh, Depends on what he wants. I, I don't have a uh, maintenance guy. That is a, still a problem. But, uh, you know, I have electricians that I use and I have plumbers that I use, depending on what you're what you're going to do. Well, I can use all of them. But short term is, is just handyman services. They're just uh, they're just, you know, some simple, easy problems that pop up frequently. And uh, and, and so that's the one that I that I have the biggest need for. Good luck. <laughs> if, if I knew one, I'd be using him. That <laughs> kind of answers that question, I guess. Yeah, uh, and it's not just in the in the city. I've, in St. Charles too. Yeah, I I had a couple of guys that did no maintenance, but even they were hard to get get a hold of because they had a, a an agreement with somebody who had a twenty four unit uh, complex, and they were the they were the maintenance crew for them and. I, occasionally, I'd catch him in between and uh, get him to do some work for me. But and then, then, then they retired. They were they were getting up there in age, just like a few of us. They just had to retire. Now I'm I still. I don't know if it's if it's South City or what it is. It's I'm not. Um, I mean, it's always been a problem, but gosh, they you know uh, they'll say they're going to show up and then they don't show up, or are they. They don't answer calls or text messages. Sometimes they yeah. will, sometimes they won't. Um, I mean, gosh, it's, <laughs> uh, and, and I don't have a whole lot of business for them right now, but it's steady. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know what it is, you know. Hey, Tim, this is Laura. Are, I, you might've already said this, but are you local? Uh, I, I live out in the sticks out here in the middle of Missouri. Um, I'm out by uh, near Rolla. Okay. Well, I guess this may not work for you unless you're in town, but uh, 
one of the tips I always hear, and I've heard a lot in this group, one of the tips I've heard is, you know, get up at 5.36 a.m., go to Home Depot or Lowe's and check out who's there first, who's there first thing in the morning, um, and try to make contacts that way. I've heard that tip so many different times. Oh, That's really? how you're going to find the guys with work, the guys who are reliable, the guys who are getting up and getting at it first thing in the morning. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, no, I well, I may do that. <laughs> I mean, it might be worth, you know, coming into town for a few days and just doing it, like, you know, two, three well, days in a row, see who you can connect with. Yeah, I'm in St. Louis frequently anyway. Um, yeah. No, that's, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Give me your yeah. phone number, Tim. Sure. Let me... Uh, let me put it out here. Just for talk. You. Just talk. We don't want to need to bother people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Don't have to bother everybody with that. All right. Okay. Yeah, I heard that, Laura, about uh, going to Home Depot Lowe's. Actually, when I was out in California in our RV a few, few years ago, I actually drove by a uh, Home Depot, and there were there were actual workers looking for a, a day, a day day jobs out at the curb for uh, some of the contractors that were you know need an extra hand for a day. There are a lot of uh, day laborers, but I, I haven't I haven't seen that. anybody seen that here in St. Louis? Or you can yeah, it would be another way. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen it around here in St. Louis either. But yeah, that is a good thing because. The guy that I that retired, he always wanted to start at 7.30 in the morning. So <laughs> even I had to get up early to get him out to open the door and let him in. If I didn't have a lockbox on, on one of my houses where he needed to work. As of, as of lately, I've, I've started using apps such as uh, like uh, TaskRabbit and Thumbtack. Um, and it's, it's worked well so far. Um, I've used it for like the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been having the same problem too. When I think I found a good handyman, you know, they just stop showing up or, <laughs> you know, so. so. Yeah, it's, it's true. I, I've got, uh, I, uh, oh, it's been over a year ago now. I used uh, um, Thumbtack, Thumbtack to, to find some uh, house cleaning company service. So, and it worked out okay. So, yeah, there are, there are apps now that uh, you can, they're helpful at uh, locating folks that are actually looking for labor, looking for work. Okay, anybody else have anything I want to share yeah. today? Yeah, have a good week. Okay, we we'll see you, Dwayne. All right, hanging off. But um, yeah, I was going to ask. Um, I just I got the Aria uh, the RIA newsletter this week, and there was a, an addendum like a, an addendum to sales contract about COVID. I was just curious what, what, uh, yeah, what, what people's experience with including an addendum like that with, uh, you know, in case you get sick with COVID. Uh, yeah, I didn't re actually really, it, it came from our, uh, uh, one of our realtor sponsors, uh, Sandy Teschler. So I'm not sure what, uh, she was recommending it. But I'm not sure if it's required. She shared this last year when she did our presentation during our uh, professional prof uh, series, and she uh, said that was a uh, something that went into effect. Now I didn't know it was in the newsletter, but that's you may want to check with her and just see if it's still uh, something that has to be done because I think it was a regulation from the CDC at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, she's got her on the page right before that. She's got her phone number and contact email, contact information. Go ahead and contact her and say, I got a question about the, <laughs> the newsletter. Anybody else that got their newsletter was the inside two pages printed upside down from the, the, the front and the back page? Yeah, okay. I thought, yeah. I was hoping maybe it was just my copy got flipped around, but apparently the whole stack, apparently that's not an yeah. automated process of go, printing one side to the other. Got a, a manual interference and somebody got it flipped over. But Anyway, I thought that would be a good, good uh, April Fool's edition but not for February. But anyway, it's still readable. So uh, hopefully it'll catch people's attention. I was told the proof is fine on the, uh, with what was sent in. It was, double oh yeah. Time. I have not got mine yet. The mail, and we have no, the fine too. Yeah, I saw that. So and in fact, I, I made a couple of last minute adjustments before I passed stuff to Laura and it, it printed out 
I printed out on my printer before we sent it in, sent it in. So now it's, it was something in their, in their, their printing process. Definitely. Anyway, no, I did want to, uh, you know, also mention, uh, for folks that, uh, weren't at our, didn't make our last Tuesday meeting on the, on the, uh, the 16th with equity trust. And we do have that recording. That meeting is recorded now on our website under members resources, um, recorded meetings and events right there at the top. And then also equity trust, um, they were offering, uh, for people that were, whose interest was peak, but haven't gotten into starting their self-directed IRA or 401k, uh, they're going to get into a little more depth on a Saturday seminar. Uh, we had one advertised for the 13th before, but, uh, uh, the 13th of March, and that's that's on our meetup site, on our website. They also, on, on the Tuesday's uh, um, presentation, offered another one that's coming up. Apparently, they're doing these uh, all over the country, and so they're offering that. The one Tuesday was strictly for our group, but this, these Saturday ones, they're inviting uh, people from other, other RIAs uh, to come in, and there is offering one actually tomorrow. They got another one. They pushed another one in. They're getting so many requests, I guess. They scheduled another one of these presentations tomorrow at nine. And I did post that on uh, Meetup. It's a post on our Meetup site right now. And uh, I should have gotten, if you're on our emails, you should have got an email with both of those, with links to register for both of those this morning. So I uh, encourage you, if you haven't, uh, haven't already uh, gotten into that form of investing, to open an IRA or 401k, or at least something for the future. If you're just getting started, it's something to be worthwhile. I wish I would have known about. I wish, I wish when I started investing, there was a Roth. I, <laughs> it hadn't even been invented yet when I started, but uh, I realized the the value of it. And I'm I'm right now. I'm in the process of converting my 401ks, my regular 401k when I left my job 10 years ago, into a Roth, a, a bite at a time to minimize my tax type the tax bite, but. Figure taxes are not going to go down in the future, so I'm going ahead and taking a bite, paying the, paying the piper now, and and reaping those benefits later on. So, hey Lloyd, I got a question for you, real fast. Um, you you're looking for a lot in St. Charles, like St. Charles County, like whereabouts, and also what dimensions County. are you interested in? Yeah, St. Charles County. I uh, I like. Uh, Oh, I, an acre, an acre would be nice. I have looked at some places that one I had in mind that slipped through my fingers was only eight tenths of an acre. It would have worked out. It was already zoned commercial and everything. Uh, so that, for my benefits, that would probably be a, uh, it was already zoned commercial would, would be best. If not, if it's in an area where there are some commercial and I could probably get it rezoned, we would probably work too. Okay. Yeah, something right, right around an acre. I'm not looking for a huge. I don't want to. I don't want to get into starting a whole another business, having a huge uh, uh, storage facility. But I worked out on this eight tenths of an acre lot. I found I could get a couple of buildings uh, storing for uh, three or four RVs in each one. And so that's what I was looking for. Oh, anybody else got anything? Hey, John, you're looking good. You look a lot better than. <laughs> How you doing, Laura? Yeah, you're you're muted right now. So he ran to the mailbox for me to see if our uh, thing. I've got click to mail on the on the line of. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it was a whole got feedback from everybody. Yeah, with the whole batch got flipped on yeah, the inside one. Fine, so they screwed it up. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I printed it before I I. When I did, when I proofed it, so I, I printed it on my printer and it worked out fine. But yeah, something got flipped on the process. Anyway, we'll recover. So, well, if nobody else has anything else, I uh, guess we can sign off for this week. Any other last last minute uh, yos? Anybody want to share? If not, we'll if, see you uh, next right week. Before we if uh, before what? we sign out, I got I got kicked off a of Zoom uh, in the middle of my question about that contract. So uh, I guess if everybody heard a response to that, um, if they all sign off, and maybe you could repeat yourself or whoever, um, 
you know, gave some uh, a response to the sales contract. Oh yeah, the only thing was, yeah, uh, John mentioned that it was uh, um, she had presented it. Uh, Sandy did a, a presentation uh, during the summer in, in one of our events, and she she distributed it at that point, which we su I suggested maybe just call her on the page right before her is her phone number down at the bottom on the on page two of our newsletter. It's got her phone number and email contact. Just go ahead and contact her directly and. Uh, uh, she can give you the, the lowdown on what the current status is on, on the use of that uh, that addendum. Okay, thank you. Sorry about the redundancy oh, there. No, awesome. Sorry we lost that. I didn't realize you dropped off. <laughs> and my okay. wife called me, and I guess it kicked me off the app. So, oh wow. Um, okay, yeah. When you're on your phone, you got a lot, a lot of interference going on. Yeah. So. Uh, well, thank you again for today. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, everybody else, for coming in. We'll see you next week. Same time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Adios.